Okay, I'm deep within the belly of the school and I have a project that is going to be a temporary fix until we can get a new toilet. Right here you can see the toilet. On the top of the toilet is the tank where the water sits and when you flush it the water comes out. Well the top of the tank is missing a lid so that's what we're gonna do is make a temporary fix so nothing falls down in there uh, until we can get a new toilet. This is our toilet. The back part is the tank and the tank needs a lid. The lid broke and you can't just put any old lid on there because it won't fit right and it might fall off and break again and then you've got more problems. So we're going to fashion ourselves a temporary covering for this right here. Now if you listen close, you can hear a drip, drip, drip. And in toilets like these, when you flush the handle, you lift up the little flapper right there. And when you hear a drip, 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 that flapper doesn't seal all the way to its pipe. And so you know you have an adjustment to make to that flapper to fix that grip. So now if you listen close, there's no drip. And after I adjust this flapper on its little hinges there a little bit, and I make sure this chain has a little bit of slack in it so that arm from the, from the flush handle isn't pulling it up like that, then I've fixed my leak, at least temporarily, until we get a new toilet that's gonna hold. Okay, very quick lesson on how a toilet works. Water comes into the tank through this water supply line right here. As it flows up into this tank and fills up, you push your lever, the water flows through that hole right there under the flapper into the bowl and the pressure pushes it down and the toilet flushes. Okay? Pretty simple. There's a couple things in here that you should know about. This is your water line that fills up this tank here. And when this thing floats up with the water, it gets to a certain level and this little arm comes up and makes it stop. And that lets it only fill up to a certain level inside the tank. That's pretty much the basics of how a tank toilet works. And it goes without saying everybody that you do not play with plumbing. You don't play with water in the house. It can be a very dangerous deal and very destructive. So this is just for your information purposes so you know what you're looking at the next time you take a look at your toilet. The toilet we're working on is called a tank toilet. I'm gonna to show you a different type of toilet, which is what we have usually in schools. This is called a tankless toilet or a flush valve toilet. You'll see it doesn't have that water tank on the back of it. Instead, it goes straight to the water line and this has a valve in it. And when I flush this, This valve in here opens up and lets the water flow through and flushes that toilet and we don't have to keep water in a tank right there. 
So I have this plastic material that's a lot like cardboard and I have cut out my lid. It just about fit. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And now I'm gonna make some sides so that thing will hold on there and I don't have any problem with things falling into the tank. Just about as good as the temporary lid is gonna get. What do you think? Nothing's gonna drop down in that tank. 